She looks, oh, she looks like garbage. I want it. This is what I wanted out of the game. I wanted a hobby car that I didn't have to pay like 30 fucking grand for. Hello again, minions. I am the wheeziest. Welcome back to Legos for Grown Ass Men Simulator a couple years ago. Since the last time we played this game, you guys saw me first playing it. Since then, I have been str strangely obsessed with it. I have played 17 hours of this game so far this week. It, uh, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's, it's a lot like Power Wash Simulator and uh, in that it's just kind of like strangely soothing and that it's just kind of like something you can kind of just chill and do. I figured I got to kind of a couple of interesting little cars that I'm working on, so I figured I'd just bring you guys back in to enjoy some car mechanic stuff with me. Hopefully, this will be a little bit uh, in entertaining, but instead of, you know, brake jobs and loop jobs on jalopies, um, I'm doing some <laughs> kind of more advanced maintenance stuff. Matter of fact, for this Viper-esque looking thing, the Echoes Cobra. Uh, we're gonna be repairing the suspension, but also doing a little bit of tuning. So we'll be putting on some aftermarket tuning parts to make that thing a little vroom vroom here. Uh, this one has basically some engine and brake problems and gearbox problems that we have to work on. So we'll go through that. I, as you can probably tell, I have expanded my shop. Now I have two lifts. I've kind of redecorated a little bit. I also have yeah, back here. I also have a spot to wash cars. I have a dyno shop where I can, this is where I do the tuning and also kind of test the car's power. A paint booth in this here spot, uh, test path facility. So this is where I can like test the vehicles or fix the vehicle's alignments. In here, I can repair some of the car parts that I take off instead of having to buy new ones. And I can repair some body panels as well as machine and repair brake rotors so i have been kind of nerd now i also have some new tools at my disposal for diagnosing uh one thing i have already done on these cars is the initial diagnostics so i can you know do the onboard diagnostic scanning the obd i can check the engine compression check the fuel system I almost never use this tire tread tester because most people come in and tell me if they need tires or I know when I take them off because I think Gotta take them off to get the suspension usually. Electronic multimeter for testing the different electronics in the cars, like the fuse boxes, the starter, stuff like that. Um, I can also use this inspect mode to just kind of like visually inspect components of the car, try and figure out what's wrong with it. So part of like my initial frustration with the game is I don't, how do I figure out what's wrong with the car if they don't just explicitly tell me? Um, so I've figured a lot of that out. I still clumsily bring up the wrong menus and stuff sometimes. But anyway, let's go ahead and just work on this Viper before we work on this Supra that of course is generic because, you know, they're not, not licensed. Uh, what do we gotta do here? We gotta replace the sway bar rear end link. I can even click on it to identify where it is. That way it makes it easier for me to get to it. So we will pull this here tire off and quickly replace that sway bar link. Screw it back in. Booyah baya. Sway bar, rear end link, fixed, tire back on. See how much better. <laughs> Again, I don't know. I don't know why this game is, has hooked me, but it's just, I like it. So now I go back in here, other tasks. I need to change the brake fluid, power steering fluid, windshield washer fluid, and put some tuning parts on it. So let's just go ahead and drain out the fluids real quick. The brake fluid. Look, 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 look. Weirdo. And fill her up. Look, 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 look. Fill her up with those fluids. Yeah. It's almost like mechanic ASMR. Listen to that glorious glugging. Glug, glug, glug. Oh yeah. All right, lube job, done. So now we need to increase the tuning of the car. So what we'll do is we'll throw her over the tuning shop because we should be able to do most of the parts replacement we need to just on the ground. So first, let's just go ahead, just for fun, we don't have to do this, but just for fun, let's do a baseline dyno run. Uh, it's a V8. Vipers typically have V10s, but I think just for the sake of not adding an extra engine type, we did that. All right. 
This needs to be between 12 and 17%. You can see that these parts have the different percentage boost for tuning. So it's all very like Lego simple as far as like, okay, if you do a new camshaft, it'll increase it by 3% or whatever. But oh, I hate changing out the air filters because you got to remove each clip individually. Ah, so painful. Pull it out. Fuel rails. We can upgrade as we go. One of the things I have not gotten to yet in this game, I mean, I unlocked the ability to go to barns, but what I was hoping is that you would go to like a barn and you would find an old car that's trashed, but you would get to take it for free and then just like rebuild it as like a side project. But no, if you find an old beat up car in a barn, it still costs like $30,000 to buy it. And then you have to rebuild it. So that's not fun. I might have to, there's auctions and stuff you can go to. I haven't done that yet, but basically I'm a little disappointed because I was really hoping to just like find some, you know, broken down old barn cars and rebuild them for funsies. But looks like I'm gonna have to grind for more money and just basically buy cars. <sighs> Where you would rebuild it yourself and then have this cool car that you took from zero to hero. But like, look, I've been doing this for 17 hours. I have 25 grand. I can't go buy a $30,000 barn car. Red makes you go faster. Air filter clips are my least favorite thing in this game. <laughs> Followed by distributor clips. <laughs> Basically, I would love to be able to just say, undo the clips, right? Like, I don't wanna just take off one clip. Take them all off. So. It already knows that we've increased the tuning by the correct amount, but we're gonna run around the dyno again, just to make sure. Let's run her up again. See where she's at. Honestly, 14% or whatever we're at is gonna basically get her back to factory almost, or somewhere thereabouts probably. It'll give us around 50 to 60 horsepower, and we were down 40, so 510, 520, I'm expecting. Uh, five, oh, 560. Okay, quite a bit. 17%, oh, we hit like the top end of that. Okay, cool. You can do too much. The first one I had to tune, I was like, oh, I'll just swap out all of like the spark plugs. I just swap out a bunch of stuff, not like everything, but I went over, it was like 25% and they were like, no, I only want it 11 to 17%. <laughs> I was like, okay, I made it too powerful for you. Fine, fuck you. So before we finish her up, we're gonna do the job right. Get her all cleaned up. Wash her. It doesn't cost us anything but time to do this. Detailer. I sh I'm actually gonna go drive her too, just to show you guys that. <laughs> so I should have detailed her after, but it's fine. Let's get in here and fire her up. Ah. I mean, it's not Gran Turismo. But so when I test drove this thing, when I was diagnosing it and that rear suspension was broken, it was like all over the road. So I'm expecting it to handle quite a bit better, but it's not a racing game. This is just kind of like, whatever, let's go. Still got it on manual. Oh, nothing. I don't think you can do any damage to the cars by doing that. That would suck, wouldn't it, if I had to, like, pay to repair the car because I crashed it on the racetrack? God, this thing still steers like garbage. I guess it wasn't the broken suspension, it's just the crappy steering on this car. Let's see if we can hustle her around the track okay, at least. Should at least be fast. I mean, you can tell this is not a, this is not a driving game. <laughs> Jesus. Look at her. She's crazy. I got everywhere. <laughs> this car handles like just shit. Jesus, stop spearing all over the road, you piece of shit. 
I don't even think that broke my record. Did it? What did I bring out here the last time? Was it? It might have been one of those Supra things, but all right. Let's. Nope. Uh. Nope. Uh. How do I? Uh. There we go. Return to garage. Two. Two twelve. I don't. I don't. I have no idea. I think there's an achievement for getting one around the track in like a minute fifty. This Viper sucks. <laughs> the steering is god awful. All right. She's not. She's not crashed or anything. Good. We're good. All right, she's fine. I ran into her barrel, but it's good. Thank you. Give me your money. I haven't gone to like a car auction yet. Oh, maybe we should go look at the car auction. Kowalski salvage cars. Oh, really? Oh, look at that. So you can, maybe this is where you can like get a hobby car for kind of cheap. That's not, that's not too bad. Like bid on like a super bird or a skyline, a one star skyline. Ooh, I would do, I'll do that. I'll bid up on a beat up old bid on a beat up old skyline. What? Oh, so you can like check it out. I'm kind of like if it's a decent price, I kind of like don't care what's wrong with it. Yeah, I kind of don't care. Shit, I'll I'll rebuild the skyline if I can get it for cheap. Let's see if we can do it. She looks oh, she looks like garbage. I want it. I want it. Let's see what we can do. Starting price. Bid four fifty uh estimated value ten thousand. I could go to ten thousand. Let's do it. Losing. Wait, what? Oh, it's like picking people off my friends list. Oh, okay, see like as it's running down. Eight grand, nine grand, no and cap. Mm, I want it. So it went for basically, I say, two hundred credits less than what they claimed it was worth. But <laughs> where do you want to put it? Put it in the garage. I think you have to pay for car parking. I'm not entirely certain. This is what I wanted out of it. Is I wanted a hobby car that I didn't have to pay like 30 fucking grand for. So getting a getting a skyline for 10 grand that I can start building on. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. I thought I said to put it in the... Oh. All right. First of all, let's go wash her off. See what we're working with. Get all that shit out of the inside. All right. Well, she's got an engine, so that's good. Look at that. I, you know, this is, yeah. I'm a, man, I've already put like so much time into this game, but now I've actually got like what I want, <laughs> which is like a hobby car to work on. So now, now I'm like, Oh God, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna edit or post these videos, but whatever, I, if I find it interesting, I post it, whether you guys watch it or not, that's okay. But if you guys did watch it and enjoy it, you can leave me a like, T tell me what you enjoyed about it. If you guys don't like it and you got this far and you haven't disliked it already, you can dislike it at this point, I guess. Although I suspect you probably liked it a little bit if you stayed this long. If you're not a minion yet, subscribe to become one. If you didn't see my first Car Mechanic video sim simulator one on this, you can check that out. Although it's a very different vibe because I knew like nothing about the game there and it was very frustrating. And now it's kind of like, I'm addicted to it. But you should go check that out. Or check out some of my other simulator videos. Go check out uh, DCS, which is a flat simulator. I'm gonna link you to a DCS video on the end card. I don't know why I'm still doing this accent. I just feel like sometimes when I'm a blue collar working man, I gotta just have this southern accent because northerners don't work hard. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't even know. I'm not. I'm in Colorado, so what the fuck do I know? <gasps> All right, minions. I will see you in the next one.